November 19, 1969. Apollo 12 becomes the second manned spacecraft to approach the lunar surface. Apollo 12 was the second manned lunar landing mission, and one of the goals of this mission was to recover hardware from the Surveyor 3 probe that had landed two years earlier and see just what the lunar environment did to something that was exposed to the surface for that long. Ten days after leaving Earth, the astronauts return, carrying with them the equipment recovered from Surveyor 3. When scientists examine the camera, they find something disturbing. Investigators took a look at this camera and sampled it for microbial growth, and surprisingly got growth from one of 33 locations that they sampled. They find something alive on a camera that's been on the surface of the moon for more than two years. The thought at the time is that the space environment was the extreme possibility for life, that there was nothing that could survive in space. Exposed to space, everything would die. Space as we know it is inhospitable. There's no water, solar radiation flare, shouldn't see anything, but it's there. So the question that remains now is, is this organism terrestrial or extraterrestrial? The organism resembles a well-known Earth life form. A NASA scientist who worked on the Surveyor program claims to have identified an incident which could have contaminated the samples. The videos of this sampling, looking at those, I saw an impossible situation in terms of limiting contamination. Not only did the investigators pick up sampling equipment, hold it against their bare arms, and put it back again. One investigator actually breathed on the camera area that they were going to sample. But both current and former NASA scientists reject the contamination hypothesis. The presence of only one kind of organism makes contamination after Apollo 12's return seem unlikely. They only found Streptococcus mitis. Now, if they had contaminated that camera while they were working, you cannot sneeze and produce only Streptococcus mitis. Someone who is assembling the camera may have sneezed or coughed and got Earth human microorganisms into the camera lens area, and then it went to the moon. Now, why would they just find one microorganism on the moon? Well, the answer is very simple. Most of them died. But this little hardy beggar called Streptococcus mitis decided that it didn't want to die, and so it just sat there and stayed there on the surface of the moon for two and a half years before the Apollo 12 astronauts came and got it. 